Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host Sochal. And Sochal, we did we're doing a uh, vocabulary builder episode today. And although this vocabulary, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for our students, but I just wanted to do it because it looks fun. And what I found were a bunch of uh, slang terms from the 1940s and the 1950s. So I used to hear these from like my dad and my mom and my grandparents. You know, they used to use these kinds of expressions. And I'm just wondering if your generation would even know what any of these are. So are you ready for the test? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm kind of sweating. This is must have. This must be how you feel when I pull out Gen Z slang. <laughs> yeah, you got like the last time we did a Gen Z slang. I don't think I got even remotely close to any of them. Um, no. Okay, the first one is giggle water. What the heck, giggle water? <laughs> yes. uh, alcohol? Does that mean alcohol? Yes, that's right. It'd be alcoholic beverages. Let's hit the speakeasy and grab some giggle water. That is insane. At first, I was like, what could that be? And I'm like, the only thing that you drink that makes you laugh is alcohol as an adult. So That's right. That's right. <laughs> alcohol is, they used to call it giggle water. So let's go get some giggle water. Yeah, That's wild. I did not expect that. <laughs> All right. Number two and number three actually have the same meaning. I think you probably know what this means, but the cat's pajamas. Oh, yeah. That's like the coolest thing ever. Like, oh, the bee's knees or the cat's pajamas. And number three was the bee's knees. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, they mean the same thing. It means, yeah. wow, that's the that's the stuff. That's really cool. That's, you know. Something excellent, something outstanding. Yeah. So yeah. that new jazz band is the cat's pajamas. Something like that. Right. Like yeah. Yeah. OK. So, yeah, if somebody says to you, you're the bee's knees, don't get angry. That's awesome. It just means you're great. You are. You're. You, but I don't know why bee's knees are considered so good in like. Do you have I any think idea? It rhymes where it comes from? And it's like a cute thing because it rhymes, maybe. OK. OK. It's just like a silly kind of thing. Like even like cat's pajamas, like why? Even if cats wore pajamas, which, you know, most don't, uh, why would they be awesome? Like, it doesn't... I mean, because that would be pretty cute. But, I mean, awesome, I don't know. But it would be cute to see a cat in pajamas, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. Number four. Heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. I know this. It gives you the creeps. Yeah. Like, ooh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. A feeling of discomfort or nervousness or fear. Right. Creeps. I'm, I'm acing these. Yeah. I've got you in the bag, Jack. You're like, uh, <laughs> we'll have to start talking like, we're 1940s. Huh? How you doing? He, 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 he. You know? The, the um, Atlantic accent. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Why do people talk like that back in the in the older days? I it was a tiny thing to do the mid-Atlantic accent. So with the regional, like there were so many different accents throughout the country. The mid-Atlantic was supposed to be like a new accent that was understood like in all of the country i guess oh is that why it's in all the movies like the... yeah and so actresses and actors were like trained specifically to speak that way but it, it was kind of weird but yeah <laughs> it's super weird I, I i was making my wife laugh because we were watching something and they were talking like that you know there everyone was like Mur, how are you doing today sir i'm fine yeah you know, like that and it's like nobody <laughs> yeah. talks like that anymore she's like why do people talk like that I'm like, I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> um, how about uh, number four? Lay it on me. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. I know this one also. It's kind of like if you are, it's like, oh, Jack, I'm really worried about blah, blah, or I have something to talk to you about or something. And you can just say, lay it on me. It's like, yeah, just dump it out. Confess it, you know, just. It's just share the information. Exactly. Yeah, just yeah. Share, Tell me share, what you know. Share. Lay it on me. Uh, and they, here it's like, you've got the scoop? Come on, lay it on me, man. So that's like very 1940s uh, kind of slang. Um, yeah. Okay, well, Social, you aced the 40s. Like, you killed it. 
you must have watched a lot of uh, World War II movies or something because I used to watch a lot of of old tiny movies with my grandpa before he passed. But when I was a kid, I grew up watching those. Um, yeah. And I would talk to my grandpa often and he would they would both my grandparents, but my grandpa especially used to share a lot of stories. And, you know, grandparents do still talk like this a little bit. Like my grandpa would say white instead of white, like WH words were pronounced differently with the oh, kind of white. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. White. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I I guess that's kind of why. And then my dad heard his parents saying a lot of these. So I've heard them from him. My dad's younger than your dad, um, but yeah, he's yeah. probably between your dad and your ages, maybe. Right. Well, here's the next one. Speaking of dads. Daddy O. Daddy O. Uh, oh God, I, it's like, I know it, it's just, but it's hard to describe. It's yeah. like, that's the, that's a bee's knees, daddy-o. It's just like a way to refer to a man. A yeah, kind of right. Of like thing. a cool or fashionable person, right? Like, hey, daddy-o, check out this yeah. new record. Yeah. It's so cringy. It's pretty cringy, but. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I think you can only, you know, we can only use these like ironically now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I really sincerely said, called someone daddy people would look at me like I'm crazy. But. People would do. What's wrong with you? Yeah. They're like, yeah, ick. Right. Um, yeah. But if you use it kind of in a funny way, it's, it's okay. Um, this one I use actually. Again, I, I think somewhere between sincerely and ironically, I use it. And this one is far out. Okay, far out. That's like cool. Again, it's like, wow, that's far out. Like, it just means cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It means like unconventional, exciting, or excellent, right? Uh -huh. That concert was far out, man. <laughs> so... Yep. Yeah, far out, far out. Awesome. Great. Yeah. All right. Let me see if I can get you on this one. Sock hop. Sock hop? Yeah. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? Uh, are you going to the sock hop this Friday night? Like a party, I guess. Like a dance, like a dance kind of party thing. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay. I'll give it to you. It's a dance event typically held at schools where attendees dance in their socks to protect the gym floor. Oh, I didn't realize people were dancing in their socks. I just thought because of the beat of the music would make your socks hop, quote right. unquote, with black hop. So, okay, well, they weren't that. I, did, I didn't know this until I just read that sentence to you. I had no idea. That a sock hop. I just thought they were like, like they just called them sock hops because their socks were hopping around, like in their shoes. Right. But yeah, yeah. you can like feel it vibrate with the music or whatever. And I'm like, that's why it's a sock hop, I guess. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Like uh that they took their shoes off to protect the uh the the, the floors of the uh yeah, because back then everyone wore like, you know, dress shoes. Nobody wore sneakers, you know? Yeah. Now we all wear like, you know, basketball shoes or tennis shoes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one. Here it is. Do me a solid. Oh, just do me a favor. We still use that today, but it's not as common today, but it still is used today. It's just saying, do me, hey, man, do me a solid. Do me a favor. Do this for me. Exactly. I've got an example. It's like, hey, man, can you do me a solid and lend me $10? So, yeah. Okay. Well, Sochal, you no wonder you went to uh, a good college. Uh, you <laughs> totally aced that test, like perfect score. Yeah, I, I have to say these weren't on the SAT, Jack. But... <laughs> <laughs> right. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't hey. have giggle water on the SATs? <laughs> hey. No, or saw cop, unfortunately. Yeah, right. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. All right, listeners. Well, if you uh, found any of those interesting or entertaining, you like these um, clips and want to hear us do more of these, leave a comment down below at a to z English podcast dot com. Shoot us an email at a to z English podcast at gmail dot com. Also, if you have any questions about slang that we can answer for you, let us know and join our WeChat WhatsApp groups. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.